Quad Star Tuning here today. I'm going to talk about how to install our tunes into the OBD1 PCM. So if your diagnostic connector looks like this guy on the 94 and 95 trucks with one blue, two pink connectors. Uh, this is your computer. And once you remove the cover access door with this Torx screw, you can see the stock chip with stock codes on it. Um, our chips look like this because we make them um, with new materials instead of using the old ones. Uh, our multi-position tuner board looks like this, has cable connection on the end. And we're going to go over how to properly install those in the correct orientation and do an initial startup. So first, you want to get um, your computer out of the vehicle. Uh, we have another video on that on our channel here, so check that out. And once you get it on the table safely in a, in a safe working environment, uh, touch the case to discharge any static electric electricity you have. Remove your cover access door. Um, grab these two retaining clips on the stock chip and pull straight up, and you'll get it out. This is the stock mem cow, they called it. Um, just the way they looked from the factory. It has the code on it. If we ask you for the code, we're talking about these first four letters on here. This one, BPBN, for example, that tells us uh, what injection pump transmission and stuff um, your computer is matched to. And now, if we lay the stock chip next to our tune chip, you'll see there's a notch on the end. We usually try to mark it with a marker on the label here so you can see it. But this notch is important because it has to get oriented the same way the stock chip was in. So the stock chip only fits in one way. If you try to put it in another way, it won't fit because it has this uh, indexing system on it. We don't have an indexing system, so we just need to make sure the stock chip was installed like this. We're going to take ours with the notch facing this direction, same direction the label was facing on the stock chip. And we're going to hold this beside here and make sure that our pins are lined up because you can get it installed one way or the other wrong um, just because we don't have an indexing system. So. Just make sure all your pins are lined up. You can kind of feel it when you're going into place. And once you get it into place, it'll kind of go down a little bit. Um, a mistake some people make, you don't get this all the way down. Don't be afraid to push it until you know it's all the way down. Make sure it's all the way down on both sides. And now um, you're installed properly. Get your stock chip off to the side and you're ready to do an initial startup. Um, the first time you turn the key on, your glow plug cycle is going to run short and cancel out because the timer hasn't had a chance to reset in the computer. So what you want to do is turn the key on once, let that short glow plug cycle happen, turn the key off, wait, you know, we say 30 seconds usually, sometimes it's only like 10 seconds you have to wait. But either way, you just got to wait a little bit. Turn the key back on and you should get a full glow plug cycle. If you don't get the proper glow plug cycle, that means that the chip isn't loading up properly. So if you consistently are turning the key on and glow plugs aren't working, um, we have some sort of problem. Could either be the chip or the coolant temperature sensor. Um, we do test these on the bench with our test harness here and make sure everything loads up. So we usually don't run into that issue, but it's worth mentioning just in case for diagnostics. Now we'll cover our multi-position tuner. So it's kind of the same process. Remove, remove the factory chip. And we're going to take the new multi-position tuner that we have. And we're going to orient the cable connection the same way as the label. So the notch in the chip and the cable connection are going to go like this. And the same, you want to line up the pins, get it into position, and make sure that it goes all the way down. Now, this is just to show you the process of installing the chips. We have another full comprehensive video on how to install the tuner and to drill the cable in your computer to accept the cable so it's safe, everything's good to go. So you want to check that out separately um, for the multi-position tuner. But um, hopefully this helps everyone out. We get some questions about this now and then, even though we have an instruction file, we know it's a lot easier to see a video. So we wanted to throw this together quick and show everyone. Uh, thanks for your support. Look forward to talking to you all soon.